Well, guys, I hope you're enjoying your festivities. Um, Grassmen wouldn't be Grassmen without uh, coming up with a different way of trying to reach out uh, over the festive period. It's a different festive period. It's probably a festive period like we have never experienced before, um, being restricted to our bubbles and obviously um, lockdown occurring for us locally here in Northern Ireland, coming in on Boxing Day. But what's changed? Um, the editing team have put together eight pictures. They've asked Gary and I to sit down, talk about the pictures, talk about what uh, we feel from looking at the pictures. They're pictures that they have picked from over the years at Grassmen and just us talking about what they mean to us. So we hope you enjoy this little series. And uh, <laughs> it was actually fun doing it, even though I always get nervous <laughs> whenever I don't know what's coming around the corner. But we hope you appreciate it. And it's nice to see, from my point of view, that the pictures that our team, editing team, picked for Gary and I to talk about. Oh. Home, sweet, home. That's your first thought. Mm hmm. That's home. That's what, uh, two and a half, three miles from That's Dunham's even. Castle there in the background. Dun yeah, Dunham's Castle. So I think, I think as the crow flies, we're about two and a half, three miles from where I was born and raised. Obviously, the scenic North Antrim coast, but a particularly beautiful stretch that runs between Port Rush and. Uh, Port Ballantrae, and you see you've done this castle there, and it's obviously it's McConaughey contracts, and they're at uh, Cochrane's on that particular shot, and McConaughey contracts have been doing that job for as long as almost I can remember, and they do a lovely sweep of ground that goes right around the coast. Um, we've seen them working there at Cochrane's, but um, I've worked with them actually on the farm that's literally almost a part of Dunluce Castle. I often think when some of the pictures and videos goes up that our fans don't appreciate the, 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 the scenic nature of, of the, the country that, that it is, but that, that picture sums up. That's leaving aside the class of New Holland, that's home, sweet home for me. And it's Northern Ireland, and I think it's one of the nicest places in the world. What about you? Machinery's not bad either. I think McConaughey's is one of the tidiest, most uniform fleets about. Even you know, with the amount of nonsense Robert talks about changing things, uh, they do mean a lot to me behind it. It's um, growing up as a young fella, they were they were the big players. As far as I'm concerned, as a young fella, they were they were always the big boys. If I get into my day, ten series up to forty series, I remember doing bits and pieces of work for them back driving like 8340s, thought they were an animal of a tractor, then 60 series, then the 125s and, and the 130s and they had a couple of masses at the time, Dyna VT really loved them, I think they were like the 80 series, 70 74 80s yeah. I think they were, and then they, 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 a couple of fence uh, has been about and I think there's uh, I think there's a change in the air at the minute just from chatting to them. I think, I think the fence might be going. But they're very brand loyal, everything's uniform, they keep their fleet absolutely pristine. And I remember 20 years ago, when you would have worked to them a few evenings, if you put a mark on a trailer, it was like a black spot against you. Like you, you were determined not to touch anything. That was the way it was. Lethal. I just look at that and think grass men as well. Yeah. What I think, we as a brand are about, you know, and we are in a beautiful island here. It is where the wet, damp weather does grow the greatest grass on the planet, right back to the very first DVD, like it really is. The problem is this picture has been taken a few years later when cameras, etc., have really allowing it to pop out of the screen at you. But like when I was a young fella, I could ride the bike a couple of miles and literally set up on the hill probably where that picture was taken with probably a zoom lens and watch that in real life. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. With the audio. And that is what Grassman's about. Trying to take that genuine passion as a youngster to people's screens without any dramas, without any need to, you know, it's content that we like to create and put out there for people. Mm.